We are in the corner of the fab lab where you're going to be doing lots of grinding and sanding on your materials. We've already done a video, two videos that you should have watched on the belt sanders. Now we are going to move to the big wicked pedestal sanders. Now keep in mind, these are three horsepower engines. They have a variable speed rheostat. They have the ability to rotate either way. I'm going to show you how these things work. Um, but these can be a very dangerous machine if they're not operated correctly. And we are going to follow this video up with a safety video, but come on over here and look at this. So the first thing, you see a big sticker. This has the capability to operate either way. It'll go this way or this way. If I turn the switch to the right, it will turn to the right. If I turn the switch to the left, it turns to the left. Now if I turn it on, I can slow this thing down to where it's barely rotating, or I can speed it up. Back to the left. Now, here's the important part. You got to think about this disc in the center. So if this disc is turning this way, I can sand my metal on this side. As soon as I start moving that metal over to this side and it picks the other side of the wheel, it can grab that metal and kick this up and flip it up. And trust me, this has the power to do that. So when you're sanding on this, you have to sand from the center over. If you're rotating it to the left, you come over here, you sand from the center over. But when it's rotating to the right, you cannot sand over on this side or it's gonna grab your metal and it's gonna kick it up in your face. So those are basically the only two controls, right, left, and then the speed at which the disc is turning. Now over here we've got two other controls. One is the main bed lift. This can go up and down and we use this to go up and down. We lower it so we can change the disc, the sanding disc, right? We can lower this thing to change the disc. We want the top of this bed to be at least the center of the disc. We don't want it lower. We want it right about in the center. The other control is a locking knob on the other side, here, and we can manipulate the bed for grinding angles. On this side, we have an angle degree gauge that's pretty, pretty accurate when this thing's put together. So I can bring it back up to zero, and then I lock the locking mechanism on the other side. That's pretty much the only operation with this machine. This will flip back, the table will drop so we can peel the disc off, but that is something that you need to do with your instructor the first time. The most important thing about this machine is to realize it is a very powerful machine. Um, Sanding on one side is fine. Sanding on the other side with the wrong rotation can seriously cause problems. In our next video on the safety of this machine, we're going to show you on our other machine, which is down right now for, for a particular reason, but we're going to talk about some safety on these machines. Again, blow them off every once in a while. Make sure the grooves are cleaned out of metal dust. Give them a little maintenance here and there, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your instructor because these are really powerful machines.